extremely poor and the medical facilities are poor. We operate a predatory neocolonial capitalist system which is founded on fraud and exploitation and therefore you are bound to have corruption. Institutionalized. Many criminal cases are settled in police stations. Just call it by its name. There has been leadership failure. Yeah, I mean... Undo me gone. It's not working. I mean, Nigeria is not working. Call it work. Where? Nigeria is not working at all. I said it. Nigeria is not working. Sadly, it's not. And we need a change. Serious change this time. guys welcome to another episode of tea time my name is Ayek and I'm your host if you're new thank you so much for stopping by and if you're returning thank you so much for coming back so today's topic is applicable to people on this side of the globe so by all standards Nigeria is a young country I mean compared to our fellow African countries we're all 50 between the ages of 50 and 60 years old post independence in addition to being young, we have a whole lot of young people in Nigeria. So more than half of Nigeria's population is under 30. So of course with a lot of young people, there's going to be a lot of traffic on social media and digital media. Well, on today's episode, my question is simple. Is Nigeria working or not? We're going to talk about it using social media and digital media as the backdrop. So let's see what my friends think. But first, <laughs> tea. Look what we hit tonight. Everybody be criminal. This is Nigeria. Just because I'm on TV now. Alright guys, so thank you so much for joining me today. I've heard your feedback and now I think I feel comfortable sharing what I think. I do not think Nigeria is working either. Um, it's interesting slash sad that that's the consensus. As you guys can see, we all agree that Nigeria yeah. is <laughs> a mess. <laughs> okay, so let's let's talk about Western media for a little bit. Um, supposed president of the United States, Donald Trump, said a few months ago that Nigeria is a shithole country. He's never been to Nigeria, but yet he knows that we're a shithole country. How? How does he know this? How did he determine this? How, how did he gauge this? Or, or what do you guys think? How do you guys think that he's gauging this? Okay, for starters, is the media. Mm. What we show on television, what he hears, what he sees, and from what he has been hearing basically about Africa. The average Western man thinks Africa is just developing and Africa in itself has walking monkeys and trees everywhere. So, I mean, I can't blame him, so it's what we show, mm -hmm. or what he's been seeing all this while. But you know what, though, he, this is like the, the drawback. So he's getting information from media that's controlled by the West. So Western media is controlling, mm -hmm. the West is controlling the media, so obviously they're the ones controlling the narrative. So like he's head of the most powerful country in the world. Four or five of the biggest news corporations in the world are from the United mm -hmm. States. So then, I don't know. I mean, I can't. I, I can't accept that because yeah. they're the ones. They're the ones in control of the yeah. media. Well, I think it's um, it's not just about the media. Mm -hmm. I think it's what Nigerians portray. You know, the stereotypical Nigerian when you mm -hmm. travel out of the country, the way you represent yourself mm -hmm. and the way you represent your country. I think that tells a lot mm -hmm. about who we are as people. And yeah, the media plays a part because I mean, the representation of Africa or Nigeria is somewhat third world, typical third world, third world country. Oh, they don't, mm -hmm. yeah, underdeveloped. Mm -hmm. They don't show the parts that really brings out the grand, you know, look or yeah. outlook on on Nigeria. So I think that also applies. But then again, going back to the point I was trying to make, Nigerians out there, I think they put out some form of misrepresentation about what Nigeria is all about. Mm -hmm. So I think that affects the image mm -hmm. that they have about us. Mm -hmm. And the things we involve ourselves in when we're in the country, in the US, I think a lot of Nigeria, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fraud stars and all of that. So I think that that's, all, that's also an issue. I agree to disagree with you because okay. Nigerians are like the most intelligent African, okay, when, let me not say mm -hmm. Africans or black people, educated black, black people. people. 
That's one. Yeah. And we hold reputable positions in the States in or the States Western world. Well. So well, I don't think you would I don't think our behavior, how we act, is just is it's average. It's typical that one bad apple spoils all the mm. rest. I'm not yeah. saying that you don't have people from Kenya or East Africa mm. or West Africa that also miss misrepresent the, mis the country. Yeah. But as for the media, you said oh they have the big the five biggest yeah, the media corporations the media. In, in the US. But we have NCA that is international. Have you seen NCA International Channel? They mess up. <laughs> they don't show. Well, no, but they really do show. They do show. No, that's the NTA that I watch. I, I, NTA what, when, International. When I'm, when I'm in America and I watch NTA, they're showing what's going on. They, they cover events, festivals, things like that. But who knows about NTA if you're not Nigerian? Yeah, I don't think it's so. I don't think, in, in dealing with this question, I don't think it's um, going to be right, completely right, to focus basically on the media. Because as much as the media has a, a, a large role, to play um, with how Nigeria is portrayed in general. Mm -hmm. Going back to your point, you said um, Nigerians are intelligent. That's a given, no doubt. But what then do you use your intelligence for? It's not so much as being gifted with. No, with no she wasn't saying that they're no. intelligent. We're the most educated by no, no, I, I, no, I know. I know. No, she also said they are in, were intelligent. No doubt about that. But what do we use these things for, this intellect for? We don't use it to develop our society. We mm -hmm. focus more on like you said, the 419 and the fraud, fraud star part. We go out there and we do a lot of fraudulent things <laughs> because we are smart. I mean, for you to get away, for you to get away with um, any fraudulent act, you have to be smart. Yes. That, so that's a given. So when you're hearing, getting reports, and most of the people carrying out these acts, you know, whether it's wire fraud, you know, um, embezzlement or whatever, they are Nigerians. It, even some African countries find Nigerians sort of dubious or fraudulent in their acts and all well, of that. More, so. Our population is larger. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Exposed. Yeah. So, so, it's, again, it's just because one bad apple just falls. It's just what because we're more think? forward. Yeah. Well, I was um, seeing, I saw something on the internet recently and he says a lot of doctors over overseas and Nigerians, mm -hmm. a lot of doctors. So yeah. talking about intelligence, we are actually yes. intelligent. Yes. There's no doubt about it. But I feel like the problem is we are not so confident in ourselves. So we just see that everybody al al already think that we are not good, we are bad, we are, we are not um, um, up to standard. So we tend to hide under that shadow. And then when we have the opportunity, I'm sure if I ask you, do you want to leave the country? You say, yes, I want to. Exactly. I pack my bags and I go thrive in another country yeah. and leave Nigeria the way it is. So I think mm -hmm. that's where the problem is. We leave the country the way it is and then we just go, go. boom. And then we do other stuff out there. And, and then by, by the time we're doing yeah. that, we there, somehow the media doesn't capture sure. us in yeah. that light, like, yeah. saying that, oh, this is a Nigerian inventing this or doing this Absolutely. and doing that. And then I should bring it back to our country. No, we just hide there and then we stay there. And then Nigeria is still a shit all like Donald Trump. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, now that brings me into the issue of patriotism. So like a lot of people don't really have necessarily have that pride or whatever, which is a part of the reason why they leave. Mm -hmm. For you to say I'm going to another, let me not say pride. They don't feel they have an obligation, so they leave and they're like, I'm washing my hands of Nigeria. Please, Nigeria should deal with these issues. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are factors associated with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have our leaders sucking the country dry. Mm -hmm. We have some of them relying on social media to have their fun mm -hmm. and basically make a spectacle cool. of our country. So mm -hmm. let's let's talk a little bit about. Um, leaders and their activity on social media and are they effective in the interaction with us because thinking about the 2019 election like um, we hold we got the Jews more than half of Nigerian population is under 30 do you know what I mean so as far as effectiveness on social media how are leaders doing we can name drop we can shake some tables <laughs> Shake well, I feel shake like us. some of them are constituting a nuisance. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. You see, you, you, you open the internet and you see a senator dancing and singing ridiculous songs and you're wondering, mm -hmm. I can't even do this. He's like a social media battle. Do you with get I don't yeah. like, what is wrong? And, and for me, it's, it's very sad because I feel like, um, I know it was, there was an election in Ikiti yes. recently. Oh, and I saw how that they gave people money to actually vote for a particular party. Yeah, party yeah. And I'm asking myself, so in 2019, what makes it different? Like, the same thing is going to happen. So why do I feel like 
I need to get to a PVC or I need to vote for this person because they're going to buy their votes and they're going to get in anyway. So what's the point? There's no hope. Like, that, like that's how I literally feel because money and, 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 and it's a sad thing because a lot of Nigerians are just about the money and you really can't blame them. They need the money. So when they get a tip of 5,000 votes for this person, it's not a big deal. What's my business? When they enter, either they're good or bad, they don't really remember us anyway. So why should I consider them? I just vote for whoever I want to vote for when they give me the money. Do you get so a lot of times mm. we don't have like our leaders don't even respect. They don't respect our views. So on the, positive, on the positive end, we do have people making good use of social media. We have Donald yes. Duke, we, we have yes. Fela Dottori. Yes. So they're like meeting us where we are. Mm -hmm. So that brings into question like, are we in a transitional phase? Because the people that we're thinking of that are doing nonsense, that are doing <laughs> this and stuff on social media, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you gotta know, you know, making them something new. <laughs> So, I mean, it's, it's kind of like, a, I don't know, it's working, but at the same time, it's not, no, it's not yeah. like, I, will, I will tell you why it's not working. You said half of our population are under 30. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. But that half of the 30 people are not particularly going to go out there and use Get the and stand on the sun to mm -hmm. vote. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you, you, me, you, I don't think, I have my PVC, but I don't think I'm going to go under the sun because it's all the way in Festac. I will not stress myself and <laughs> leave the island and go to the main. That's number one. Number two, the average man that's going to vote are the northerners and they have the larger population. population. And I kid you not, they are not particularly interested, ed educated. Mm. To a yes, particular so standard, like 19, yeah. yes, yeah. percent. Yeah, so those are the people that are going to vote, and they don't go on social media. They don't know, they don't know what's happening. It ends on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and the small Western states that he would visit. You go to the south. I'm from the south. You go to the south. I was talking to my mom. Ah, mom, don't you know for that you told you I like to be like him. He speaks. He goes here and there and there. I said, ah, people leave me. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. And that's just my mother. So you can imagine the number of people that like they my mom in worry. They don't know. So. We can sit here and speak all the English and look fancy and say, you know, Fala Jorotoye and Donald Duke, they're using the social media for a good cause. They were transitioning or transforming. But it ends there. Because I, you, and some other people that might be like us that are under 30 will not go under the sun with that PVC to go and vote. When we know that so in the north, the five-year-old northern boy that, says, that speaks Aousa or Fulani will vote. So you're saying that, that they're not using it. I mean, I'm trying to get the gist of what you're saying because you moved on to the way we look. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm trying to bring you back to what we're talking about. So you're saying that they're basically treating the West as a microcosm of the country, which is off base. Mm -hmm. So like you're saying that Fela Birotoye, Donald Duke, like. which I disagree as far as Donald Duke is concerned. He's doing his work in the, in the East and in the South. Um, but you're saying that they're using Lagos as, okay, this is Nigeria. Let's do as much work as we can do in Lagos and then no. forget yeah, about They're just focusing else. on social media. Their target is social media. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know Donia Du because he was once the governor. Okay, so let's use Fala Durotoy like a mm -hmm. typical um, exactly. example. They don't know him so well because he has never held a, a political mm -hmm. seat before mm -hmm. or has ever done any other job besides, you know, trying to motivate the young Nigerian and being entrepreneurship or empowerment. So it ends there, and that's social media. So it's not as effective, effective as, I think it as it's supposed. Okay. I think it's effective at all. Think, so mm -hmm. I think if anything, they're selling themselves. Exactly. That's the only. That's, that's, that's what like the youth. Yes, yes, that's all they're doing. There. Yeah, for Donald Duke, yes, maybe his um, ratings will be will be a bit higher because we all know him as an ex governor of a state, that, and he did well. So that will speak for him. So even if he's using social media now, it's probably just to get us the younger, mm -hmm. the younger generation to, 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 to fall in line. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Mm -hmm. But for my for uncle, my today. love, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you need to. Let me tell you, you need to go He's past. Cool. Yes, <laughs> you need to go past social media. You need to go past Instagram, Facebook, yeah. and Twitter. <laughs> uncle Fella, have you heard? <laughs> I, I think they really need to settle into um, how Nigerians in reality, not social media, because mm -hmm. a lot of things that put up there mm -hmm. on social media, mm -hmm. they need to come to, do, to the realistic parts of how Nigeria. things are working mm -hmm. for us mm -hmm. and basically understand our needs and what we're pushing for and see that in line with what your objectives are oh. when you get into office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the only way you can really sit into you know, the youth and really encourage them and empower them.
All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that very interesting conversation about the state of the nation. Yes, we go in on Nigeria, but without a doubt, most of us, we can agree yeah. that we, we all love Nigeria. We all have, we all have faith in this country. Yeah, and yeah. we do believe that we have to do our part. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't go to Canada, but um, we still have an <laughs> obligation to us. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, keep that in mind. Um, mm -hmm. So give us a one-liner of what you think the state of Nigeria is and its potential. Shay? I believe Nigeria is promising. It's very promising if we it will stay in the right direction. I think that you're very promising. It always has been and it always will be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're growing. We're growing. It's a baby country, so we're not there yet. We're just this is just the bedrock or the foundation and we're getting there. There is hope because we give all that we can to Nigeria. So eventually things will get better. Mm -hmm. I mean I, I look into the future and I see my children having a better Nigeria. So there is hope. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys, well you heard it from us. Thank you so much for watching once again. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, yeah. give us your feedback and catch you in the next episode. This is Nigeria. Look how I'm living up. Look how I'm living up. Everybody be criminal. This is Nigeria. Look how we live in a...